in Australia. It's Sunday morning here. It's the 16th of September 2018. Going forward in the next uh, 120 days, we are going to see millionaires being created. What we see in the future for Bitcoin is something extraordinary. If you followed our reports, you will notice that we've always said that uh, the market is going to go down with seven legs. And you can see here, uh, this is leg number one, leg number two, leg number three, if you just follow my mouse there, leg number four, five, six, come down and then break out at leg number eight. So I am going to give you the time frame for the next 58 days to give you an idea of what we see in our algorithm where Bitcoin is going to go. And unfortunately, guys, the low for Bitcoin, in our opinion, is not yet in. But I'm just going to give you an indication of a possibility that we need to have a look at. Our algorithm kicks out a whole bunch of different scenarios. And out of the 36 combinations, we have to narrow down to the most likely forecast where Bitcoin will go. Now, let's just zoom into this a little bit, and I'm going to show you what is going to potentially happen with Bitcoin. Now, as you can see here, exactly as predicted, the market came all the way down here to approximately 5.9 before it then went upwards. Um, and we identified this level here. Uh, we actually identified B was approximately there. So we said we're going to create a big A, B, C, D, E. So this is the report number 61 of 6 September. And this is where we said that is a big A, B. We're going to go up to C, D, E. But I'm going to show you why I think that we're going to hit the lower levels instead. And it's literally because of this little drop here that, we, that is unexpected. If you look at the overall chart of Bitcoin, you can see that this is the, see that little red line there coming down there? That was kind of like your resistance line before Bitcoin literally just there broke out of that re resistance line. Keep an uh, eye on these domes that I've just created here because I'm going to show you the algorithm data in Apple, how that correlates with the data that we are using now. Because we use a whole bunch of different data. That data can be the Apple data, the, uh, the gold, silver, as well as Microsoft and a whole bunch of other uh, data points which i don't want to get into now because it's all proprietary information our trend forecasts is very very accurate so if you look at this where we said that the market is going to break out here at point number eight the market broke out there it came down here and then we said the market is going to go a b c d e up to that high point so the low point could be 8500 but nonetheless guys you will see that year uh, on the 24th of September, we expect to hit point C, the market then, so it will go all the way up to point C, come down slightly, and then go up to point E. Uh, point E could be a breakout leg where the market simply just explodes higher into, let's say, around about October. Uh, just one caveat that I just want to put in here. Uh, just listen to what I say here very carefully. Important note, dates can contract or expand. In this case, I actually think that dates could contract, sorry, not contract, but expand. And that um, if we give a date here, for example, the end of this month, which is about uh, the 1st of October, where we say that we are going to have this big drop, uh, that could expand perhaps between... Uh, that and about five, six, seven, eight days, maybe a week. So it is possible that it can expand, but closer to that time, I will provide reports and give you these date. What really depends on how the next play is going to be here is this specific point C. Whether we reach the high point there or there, it really depends. I am betting that we will have the high point at 24 September, according to our algorithm. We may be wrong because of a little bit of expansion of time that we've identified in this little area there, which could be about three, four or five days later. But nonetheless, guys, the point that you need to understand is that we are heading up to a high point somewhere here, then a drop. Once you see that high point and the drop and then a vertical price spike upwards, you will know where to get out of the market. Because what is going to happen exactly at this point here, when we reach that high point, is that the market is literally going to do this. It's going to drop. 
Now, remember, I'm giving you the, the overall picture. I want you to understand what's going to happen with Bitcoin potentially over the next 40 to 50 days so that you can plan. Because what I want you to do is to come here back into the market here at this low point here. Okay, so wouldn't that be great if we can identify this low point and uh, we all get back into the market before the market then breaks out upwards. Now, in our opinion, from the algorithm data that we review, whether we hit this high point. So let's say, for example, if Bitcoin touches this level of 8500, we expect a 60, a maximum of a 60% retracement. If that is the case, the market is going to come down and hit this blue line now, uh, which is now the... Uh, which at that point will be the support line. Because remember that now is resistance exactly there. The market has to go up and break out, out exactly there. And once it breaks out there and goes to point C, we know that this blue line here will become support. So when the market comes down here, it's going to touch this support line, potentially break through slightly before it then goes up. And um, that date there again could be around about 10 or 12 November. Um, closer to that time, we will be able to identify the point a little bit better. Now, could it be that the market only goes down, let's say, around about uh, 40 to 50 percent? Yes, that's possible. The market can come down here. What we see in our data is that we should have some sort of a capitulation event where the market simply weekly drops down here, goes up the same day or the next day, uh, goes sideways and drops a second time onto that blue line before then eventually goes up um, something similar like that. I'm going to show you now the Apple uh, data map. Now, just take a mental picture of what you see here. Okay, so this is Bitcoin going down in seven legs and then breaking out on the eighth leg, coming down to touch that and then coming down to touch it again before it then goes out. And it's normal for a big breakout where there is a big trend reversal for the market to come down twice. Breakout, come down and touch that support line. Breakout and touch the next support line. It's just called stepping. So it's stepping from one support resistance to the next support resistance. And later on, guys, it's going to do that again. It's going to go... It's going to go, as I show you, it's going to go up there and it's going to come back here again before it goes up. So that is step one, step two, step three. Those steps just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I wish I could show you what we see for December and January next year. I mean, massive, massive moves that will make you, by default, most likely a millionaire. And you don't need to have a lot of money. You just need to have the right coins. For example, Litecoin, Digibyte, Stellar, all those that I have on the Marius model portfolio. Now, let's get into Apple. Uh, this is the Apple chart of 2013. Now, we use the Apple data in our um, algorithm in some modular quantitative form. And uh, you will also see that from this report here, this is report number 9 August, uh, report number 56. Uh, in this report, basically, we show that the market is going to come all the way down. It's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's then going to break out exactly there. And the market did exactly what, uh, what we predicted. So here is the Apple chart that we of 2013 in report number 56, indicating the falling wedge formation of Bitcoin. Apple and Microsoft together with gold are two major technology stocks and one physical asset class we follow and we use the algorithm data in some modular quantitative form. To You can see here that the market came down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and exactly what it did with, uh, uh, with Bitcoin, it broke out there and have a look at where my hand is now. Uh, I'm going to show you that little dome there. And I'm going to show you this little dome here. That and that is exactly what is happening with Bitcoin at the moment. After that capitulation event here, we expect Bitcoin to break out exactly what is done here. Go to that high point there. You can see that the market here, uh, just a little bit further where Apple broke out. And this is what I say stepping stones, guys. There's one step, two step, three step, and it always it hops and makes these steps. 
it's up and down up and down and we are going to provide you that data now if you look at this apple chart here we're not going to follow this exact path uh, with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a lot more stronger. It's, uh, it's approximately 10 times more powerful than Apple. 20,000 is going to look really small when Bitcoin reaches $1 million per Bitcoin. Guys, understand what I'm saying here. There are 21 million Bitcoins, period. There is not, no more. You can't go and print them. You can't create them. There's 21 million Bitcoins. Now, what do you think will be the value of the last 1 million coins? You are most likely going to pay a million dollars plus for those last Bitcoins, maybe more. The market cap, in our opinion, from what we see in Bitcoin, is going to be a massive, massive amount of 7.6 trillion dollars now let's have a look at apple now this is the this is the bitcoin chart remember that one two three four five six seven and breakout leg and the two domes here let's go back to apple one two three four five six seven and then we had a breakout leg now let's go and put these domes in here um let's just make this a little bit larger and again guys you can see here that um this blue line here that I'm referring to now, exactly that blue line, that was the resistance line, and that is exactly where Bitcoin break, broke out. Now, let me show you here. There we go. That is exactly where Bitcoin broke out, exactly on that dot there. Okay, so you can see my mouse there. See there, that is where Bitcoin broke out. And then here in Apple, that is where Apple broke out. So let's have a look at the, uh, the down let's just put these two domes in exactly what we've done with Bitcoin really uh, there you can see is the one dome and uh, we will put the next one in here okay now with Bitcoin at the moment we are approximately there halfway and we still have to go that little path up there now we expect Bitcoin um, most likely they don't always follow the same path, but uh, the trend is almost the same. So we expect Bitcoin to do that, to go up to C, D, E, and perhaps go round about that level there. Before then drops, goes up again, drops, and exactly what has happened with Apple here. See that little capitulation event exactly there, where it came right down to that support line there. So we expect uh, Bitcoin now see that little last leg down there so we expect Bitcoin also to do the same where it comes down and then literally breaks out to go into November December and make higher highs so um, now you can go back to report number what was that again report number 56 and you can literally go and have a look at that chart there where we predicted that breakout and it's going to follow the same path more or less. But come around here, it's not going to do the exact same as what Apple is doing. Some other events take place there that push Bitcoin extremely high. Now, remember this as we got here, and I've said that many times, that we overall that we are in a bullish market. So if you were to go into a daily chart and you look at the whole market, the entire market is actually going upwards. Every year the market has gone upwards and upwards. So in effect, we are in a bull market overall. But when you zoom in, in the last nine months, the market actually came down to a verge and a push out where it's going to break out. Now, a baby, nine months before a baby gets born, so the nine months has passed and Bitcoin will be reborn and go to all new highs. So guys, uh, this just gives you a overall big view picture of what we see in our algorithm. I thought I would present it to you, show you what we see so that you have that big view picture as well. There's no need for fear. There's no need to be anxious. Imagine if you get out here, okay? and then get back in there you've made a lot more extra value in your portfolios your coins have increased so our business of here at bitcoin trend and forecast is to identify the high points and low points
the extreme high points, extreme low points. If anybody who is not a premium member is watching this video, if you do want to become a member, just go to get membership there. We've made the cost very affordable to every single person and our intent is to help everybody. It's only $24.95 a month. You're not going to pay $100 a month. You're not going to pay $1,000 a month, guys. You only need to pay one subscription fee and understand the market trend. Once you understand the trend, uh, like we've been pretty accurate identifying four, five, six, seven, the breakout, uh, all these levels here. That's all you need to know, really, because you're going to sell high and you're going to buy low. Listen, guys, it's Saturday, Sunday morning here. I'm going to get out on the beach and uh, I wish you an awesome day and look out for the next report within the next 24 to 